I thought this was worth talking about. Microsoft wants Game Pass on every screen possible, including Nintendo's. This is... So, let's go back a bit. At one point, I was either on a stream or a video that I did, but I did a video where I basically spoke about how I felt that Microsoft, moving forward, they're buying all these studios, but only just to be a huge publisher. I think they're wanting to put their software elsewhere, and I might be right about that. Let's look at the Xbox. The Xbox isn't doing so well. It's behind both the Switch and the uh, PlayStation. It's behind both of those. I believe Microsoft is about to duck out of hardware. I don't think they're going to keep doing hardware. Uh, now, that's bad because you need the competition, but I think that's what they're fixing to do. I think part of why they're buying up all the IPs and everything is so they have it all under their belt and that they can publish things on other consoles and make a killing. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's the approach possibly going forward. I don't know, but this is what came out of uh, Microsoft's, uh, who is the guy's name? And I'm such an idiot for not having it. You know, what? it'll come out as I, as I read this. Uh, Microsoft and Nintendo have a pretty good relationship, which has allowed for games from some uh, Microsoft IPs to be available on the Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Switch Online. Microsoft has also frequently expressed a desire for bringing Nintendo and Xbox fans together. Xbox head Phil Spencer has even uh, mentioned that he considers Nintendo Switch players to be part of the Xbox family. He considers... I don't know about that. That's a little telltale sign of right there, if you, if I ever heard one. That's a little little unnerving. But anyhow, uh, that said, Microsoft's initiative seems to include Game Pass as well. Xbox CFO Tim Stewart said this. Tim Stewart has uh, recently said during a Wells Fargo TMT summit that, quote, it's a bit of a change of strategy, not, any, not announcing anything broadly here, but our mission is to bring our first party experiences. They're putting the and in there. I hate when they add the ands. He didn't say the and, don't add the and. Experiences are subscription services to every screen that can play games. Uh, that means smart TVs. That means mobile devices. That means uh, what we would have thought thought of as a comp as what we thought of as competitors in the past, like PlayStation and Nintendo. I'm going to read the source. Let's see the source. Uh, and of course, I'm going to zoom in real good so I can read better. So they want to bring uh, the Game Pass. It's the Game Pass they want to bring to PlayStation and Nintendo. And Xbox CFO uh, Tim Stewart said during the Wells Fargo TMT Summit this week that the goal is to make first-party games and Game Pass available on every screen that play that can play games. And this includes rival consoles. See, here's my thing. I, I'm going to say what how I what I think about this by the time I get to the end of this, but you'll hear it from me in a minute. It's a bit of a change of strategy. We've read all of this. Uh, you know, Nintendo and PlayStation. Okay. Uh, Stuart said Game Pass is... A, see, this is all about Game Pass. This is not about the actual games themselves coming to... natively coming to Nintendo or PlayStation consoles. And that's where I have an issue with this. Personally, I don't give a fuck about Game Pass. Um, and, you know, if they're talking about streaming or the cloud, I don't give a fuck about it. If they're talking about actually bringing the game so they run natively on future Nintendo hardware, then great, sure, go ahead and bring some stuff over. I mean, they own a lot right now. Uh, Stewart said Game Pass is a high-margin business for Microsoft, along with the uh, first-party games and advertising. These are all areas that Microsoft plans to expand into significantly in the times in the time ahead. Stewart said, I hate how that was worded because it makes me sound stupid as I read it. Uh, the executive added that buying Activision Blizzard helps Microsoft get there faster than it might have been able to on its own. Okay, so that was part of why they bought them, apparently. Uh, for the advertising part specifically, the Candy Crush mobile game series from King, which is now owned by Microsoft, is deeply embedded with ads and microtransactions. I hate that! I hate that! Oh my god, just fuck. Fuck. Just let me buy a game and play it. I hate that. Uh, for Game Pass on rival consoles, it makes sense that Microsoft would want to do this. 
because it would expand the reach of the subscription service to a much larger audience. Whether or not Sony uh, or Nintendo would allow Game Pass on their consoles is another question. I hope they don't. Listen, Microsoft, if you want to put your games natively on these hardwares, you go for it. More power to you. I, I look forward to it. But if you're wanting to put your Game Pass service on these consoles, you can fuck right off. I really don't think that's going to happen. I, I don't know what the fuck Microsoft is thinking. No, you're not putting your, your Game Pass or whatever on these hardwares. You're not doing it. You're not doing it. If you want to bring more games to Nintendo Switch or whatever Nintendo's next hardware might be, great, you do that. I, I absolutely look forward to it. But if this whole thing... I'm not reading this entire article. We've got the gist of it. But if this whole thing is basically about putting Game Pass, which I think is cloud, I might be wrong. Maybe it's download. Maybe you're downloading the games. I don't know. But if it's about putting a streaming service of your own design, your own making, your own ownership on competing hardware, you're full of shit. Unless you're dishing out dividends to those companies. Unless you're you know, pushing out money to Nintendo directly and paying them a good fair shake. That was the problem that... And Nintendo's not going to want to repeat that issue either. Whenever Sony came to them about the PlayStation, they messed up with the with this with the deal. They wanted to back out of the deal because Nintendo would not have gotten much in the way of profits. Nintendo backed out of it pretty quickly and rightfully so. They would have saw next to nothing from the from the, from the software sales, and that's why they pulled out of that deal for the for the original PlayStation PlayStation, which then caused us to get a new competitor in the market, which is Sony. Uh, in a way, I don't like this. I don't like seeing Microsoft just go, I'm out, we're done with the hardware, we're just going to put our games on. But, on the other hand, if it's the actual games, go for it. I, I want to see, I'm not a big Call of Duty fan, but I want to see the next Nintendo hardware to have Call of Duty. I want the, the next Nintendo console to have World of Warcraft, I guess. Just anything they own. You know, I want them to continue to get Crash Bandicoot, of course. Love Crash Bandicoot, and now Microsoft owns Crash Bandicoot. The character that was thought to be a mascot of Sony, that he was always thought to be a mascot of Sony, is now under the under under the control and ownership of Microsoft. There's something to be said there. There is something to be said there for that. Uh, some and, and, here's the thing: Sony never wanted mascots. I hate that. I hate that about Sony. Sony get some, embrace the mascots, embrace them. Nintendo pumps out a Mario game every now and then, and it's always gangbusters. You had a chance long ago to build an IP and everything to build these things up for your company, and you just backed out of it like idiots. Sony, you guys are morons. Jesus Christ, and I know I'm going to get people in the comments that are. Die hard, so die hard Sony fans that are just going to give me all kinds of shit, and uh, are or even you know they're going to accuse me of being this or that. Look, I'm I'm not any of that. I mean, you can accuse me. You would be right. You would con you would you could accuse me of being a Nintendo fanboy, okay? And I would completely agree with you. You're right. You are absolutely correct. I would absolutely agree with that. Yep. But that's it. That's where that's where it ends. Right there. That's it. Yeah. Um again though, I don't want to see I don't want to see Microsoft just put their stupid online crap on there. I don't want them to see that. I just don't want to see that. I would rather just buy individual pieces of software. I don't want to pay a monthly fee for your Game Pass. Sorry Microsoft, I don't. I don't care for that. A lot of games as a service shit as well is not working out for a lot of studios. It's not working out for Sony. Nobody wants that. They want to buy individual games. They want to own those individual games. And they're tired of being used as... Like, people People who are consumers are tired of being looked at as, an, as, as a commodity. And not as, a per, not as people. And as people, not just consumers, we don't like being dicked around and treated like shit. Okay? We know what we want. You give us what you want, what you want, or you get nothing. Pretty simple. Pretty cut and dry. What do you think? I think so. I think that is pretty damn cut and dry. But we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. I, I don't know. I haven't got the answers. But I think it's going to be interesting to see the direction that this takes. Will, will we eventually just stop seeing Xboxes get made? Probably. 
That's what it sounds like. It sounds like they want to just use the internet and whatnot, and I don't know. I don't know what they're wanting to do here. But it is interesting, now that they own all this, that that's what they want to do. Anyhow, I hope this satisfies some people when it comes to videos. I'm out.